title of the first section today is graphing and equation. First equation we'll graph is y equals 2x plus 1. To first graph this equation, we can draw a t-table or xy t-chart. We'll put x on the left side and y on the right side. When graphing an equation, you can use any numbers that you want. The best numbers to use are negative 1, 0, and 1. So we have one negative number, 0, which will be in the middle, and positive 1, which will be on the right. To solve for the y values, we'll take the x, plug it into the original equation, and then figure out what y is equal to. If we plug a negative 1 in for x, 2 times negative 1, and adding 1 to that, 2 times negative 1 would be negative 2, negative 2 plus 1 would be negative 1. If we plug a 0 into the equation, 2 times 0 plus 1, 2 times 0 would be 0, plus 1 would be 1. And last point we'll use positive 1, 2 times 1 plus 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Once we have the t table done with our three points, we can draw an xy graph to graph this equation. The biggest number we have is 3, so we can go three spots in each direction. If you want to, you can label the graph x is the axis that goes left to right or horizontal. y would be the axis that goes up and down. Graphing the first point, negative 1, negative 1. x would be to the left, one spot, or negative 1. And y would go down, one spot, negative 1. Second point, 0, 1. 0 for x is in the middle. Positive 1 would be one spot up. And last point, 1, 3. x is positive 1, and y is 3 spots up. Three points when graphing these equations, they should be a straight line. All three points should line up in a straight line. And that would be the graph for the question. Second equation and last equation for the section is y plus 3x equals negative 1. This time the equation is not in y equals form. We have x and y on the same side. To graph using a t-table, it's best to get y by itself. So if we have a positive 3x, we can move that to the other side by subtracting 3x. So y would equal. It's best to put x first, negative 3x, and the minus 1 we'll put after. So the same equation, but we'll have y equals negative 3x minus 1. From here again, you can draw the t-table, x, y, t-chart. Again, you can use any numbers for x that you want to graph, but the three best numbers to use are negative 1, 0, and positive 1. Plugging a negative 1 in for x, we'll have negative 3 times negative 1 minus 1. Negative 3 times a negative 1 is positive 3. Positive 3 minus 1 would be 2. Plugging a 0 in, negative 3 times 0 minus 1. Negative 3 times 0 would be 0. Minus 1 would be negative 1. And last point we'll do positive 1. Negative 3 times positive 1 minus 1. Negative 3 times 1 would be negative 3. Minus 1 would be negative 4. Graphing from here. We can draw the xy axis. Again, looking at the biggest number, we have negative 4, which means we want to go four spots in each direction. And if you want to, again, you can label the xy axis. The x axis goes horizontal, left and right, and the y axis is vertical, which goes up and down. The first point. Negative 1, 2. 
x is negative 1, y is positive 2. Second point, 0, negative 1. Zero's in the middle of the graph. Negative 1 would be one spot down. And the last point, 1, negative 4. Positive 1 for x. And negative 4 would be four spots down. And again, all three points should line up in a straight line. If they don't, you have to go back, double check your numbers, double check your graphing. But as long as they line up in a straight line, this would be the graph for the question. The title of the last section today is graphing using x and y intercepts. Graphing equations using the intercepts. Intercepts are where it crosses the x-axis and the y-axis. Definitions for the section. The x-intercept. x-intercept will be where y equals 0. And the definition of y-intercept. The y-intercept x is equal to 0. So for each intercept, the opposite letter is equal to 0. First equation will graph is y equals 2x plus 4. Instead of using a t-table to graph this section, we can graph using intercepts by plugging zeros in. The easiest point to plug a zero in is for x. 2 times x, or 2 times 0, plus 4. By plugging a zero in for x, we can find the y-intercept. 2 times 0 will be 0, and we'll be left with y equals 4. And likewise, we can take the same equation, but this time plug a 0 in for y. So 0 would equal 2x plus 4. Solving this equation for x, we can subtract 4 on both sides. So negative 4 is equal to 2x. And to solve for x, we can divide by 2. So negative 2 is equal to x, or the x-intercept is negative 2. So again, to find the intercepts, you can plug a 0 for x to find the y-intercept, and the same equation, you can plug a 0 for y to find the x-intercept. Once you have the two intercepts, we can draw the graph. Looking at the two numbers, the bigger number we have is 4, so we can go 4 spots in each direction. And again, you can label the xy axis. The x axis goes left and right or horizontally, and the y axis is vertical or up and down. First number we had is y equals 4. On the y axis, if y equals 4, we can go up to 4 and put a point. And this would be the y intercept where the line crosses the y axis. And likewise, if x is negative 2, we can go to negative 2 on the x axis. And this will be where the line crosses the x-axis or the x-intercept. After you graph both intercepts, you can draw a line through both intercepts. And that would be the graph for the equation. Second equation, and last equation for the section, y equals negative 3x plus 1. And again, we can graph this using intercepts. The easy intercept to solve for, you can plug a 0 for x, so we can find the y-intercept. Negative 3 times 0, we can cross off, so y would equal 1. 
Solving for the x-intercept, we can take the same equation, but we'll plug a 0 for the y-value. So we have 0 equals negative 3x plus 1. Solving for x, we can subtract 1 on both sides. 0 minus 1 would be negative 1 equals negative 3x. And solving for x, we can divide by negative 3. Negative 1 divided by 3 would be a fraction. Dividing two negatives would become a positive, so we'll have positive one-third for the x-value. So the y-intercept, y equals one, and the x-intercept is one-third. Once you have the two intercepts, you can draw the x-y-axis graph. Our biggest number is one, so we can go one in each direction. Again, you can label the x-axis and the y-axis. y equals 1 means the graph crosses at y equals 1. x equals 1 third means the graph crosses at 1 third. 1 third would be between 0 and 1, and would be 1 third of the way between 0 and 1. Once you have the two intercepts again, you can draw a line through both points and that would be the graph for the equation.